what you observed happening. It's very hands-on. The emphasis is really on learning through doing. I think kids are naturally curious. They naturally love science because they want to know why. It's awesome to be hands-on in, in doing things that everyone can participate in. Um, even if they're more sitting back, they're watching, they're learning, no one's got their head down. I love it when um, sometimes they'll say, well, put your pencil away, we don't need your pencil today. They're like, yes. What are you guys learning in STEAM today for science? Um, if like different types of landslides can knock down the house. When we add just sand, it didn't knock down. But then when we added sand and water, it did knock down. They're thinking about Things like slope of a mountainside, what happens with water. When you add water, there's less friction, so things move down the mountain more quickly. So they're going to be thinking about what they learned about weathering and how things move down a landslide and slope and that kind of thing, and they'll have different materials to choose from. What usually happens when you increase the slope of your mountain? The house tipped over or it got buried in the material. Did it tip over for every material? No, no. A lot of times with our challenges, just coming up with ways of being flexible with thinking and problem solving, because it's different than just memorizing things to get 100 on a test. Like we're really trying to get them to work together to um, answer a problem or a challenge and um, to use the underlying science concepts to help them do that. Really fun. Why? Because you get to experiment and get dirty. <laughs> That's my favorite part. It's just, I think, a great way for students to take that curiosity that they have naturally about science and start to explore and find some answers for themselves. Sometimes I'll pose questions, but a lot of times the best questions come from what they're wondering or what they notice. My goal is for them to learn by having fun. So if they can say, I had fun today and I learned, that would be my ideal. The big goal would be not to just have fun doing an activity in the STEAM lab, but then to take that enthusiasm for whatever and start to think about it outside of the classroom. Like when they get home, if they're watching the news about a landslide or if they're working on making a prediction in their reading or something like that, that it doesn't just begin and end in the STEAM lab, but they can take what we're doing here and apply that to their, their life outside of school for the rest of their lives.